You can use the RF PM1 to get a reasonable idea of the field strength levels around your antenna. It won't be as accurate as a laboratory instrument or certified, however, it can be reasonably accurate to give you a bit of an idea how strong the signals are around your antenna and whether or not they are above or below the safety uh, requirements. Here I have a setup with the IC706 running 10 watts. The 10 watts uh, is on RTTY, so it's continuous, and feeds a 30 dB pad. The output of the pad then feeds the RF power meter, which is showing plus 10 dBm or 10 milliwatts. I also have an inline power meter here, and the reason for that is that I'm going to be using the power meter to measure the signal strength on a loop antenna. And but I, I need to make sure that the signal coming out of the IC706 is still 10 watts. So I've got an inline power meter as well, just, just to monitor that. I now have the IC706 feeding this uh, 20 meter mobile whip antenna, which is temporarily attached to a tripod, just so I can carry out these measurements. Normally this antenna would be mounted on, the, on a vehicle bumper bar or similar. I've also made sure the power coming out of the transceiver is in fact 10 watts. As you can see, uh, I have the SWR come power meter in line with the antenna. There's the feed. The SWR is 1.2 to 1 at the moment. And this feed, this cable, short cable of around about uh, 4 meters, feeds the, the base of the mobile center loaded whip antenna. There it is there. In order to get a reasonably good estimate of the field strength level, you need the power meter to be connected to a pickup antenna whose parameters are reasonably well known. In this case I'm using the 600mm by 600mm square loop designed by Owen Duffy, VK1OD. Owen has all the details of this antenna on his website including a spreadsheet which enables you to change many of the parameters and find uh, the value of antenna aperture and gain etc quite easily. In this case I've chosen this size as it suits the 14.15 MHz uh, transmission that I'm uh, demonstrating here. The square loop antenna is a balanced antenna and needs to connect to your power meter by way of a ballon. In this case it's a one to one voltage ballon consisting of a small toroid coil with approximately 10 to 12 turns of uh, wire. The material is F43 which uh, is suitable for the 14 MHz uh, frequencies that I'm using. The length of the coax feeding the power meter is approximately 5 meters and in Owen's uh, spreadsheet the length of the coax and its loss can also be incorporated into the calculations. So we know the antenna aperture uh, for this particular antenna reasonably accurately and from that we can calculate knowing the signal strength thread on the power meter calculate the field strength meter as required. Here we have the receive antenna and power meter approximately one meter from the transmit antenna. We are in the near field and the reading is around minus 13 to minus 14 dBm. We'll now move at four meters we're reading minus 25 dBm. So we'll now move back to around 10 meters. So at around 10 meters we're looking at minus 33 to minus 34 dBm. There we go. So we've now exited the near field and we're in the, uh, the far field region. The frequency is 14.15 megahertz and wavelengths 20 meters. We are now approximately 20 meters away from the transmit antenna and we're getting a reading of minus 39 dBm. So uh, I'll just show you where we are relative to the transmit antenna. As you can see, 20 meters away. Here we are approximately 50 meters from the transmit antenna and we're reading minus 47 dBm. So uh, I'll just show you where we are relative to the transmit antenna by panning round. And the transmitter's over there near the house.